everybody. Oh, gosh, Claire, darling, how's Jamie? Oh, well, the doctors just told us Jamie is going to be fine. Oh, thank God. That calls for a drink. What do you say? No, 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 there's not an excuse to drink, Paul. Coffee will do just fine. Let me pour you some, Claire. See how she moves? She should, too. This is her house now. Oh, Asa, this is not my house. Now, even though you and your lovely wife have been very, very accommodating, I can't thank you enough, but no. That, you take a black ring. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, no, I thank you, but I will not be staying here very long. I'm moving out, and I know you'll be glad to hear that. Why would I be glad to hear that? Well, I don't know. I think that my being here has bothered you a little bit. I think I'm taking all of the time away from you with Ma and Pa. You had better not be trying to hustle Nora out of my home, Clint. What? Miss the pleasure of her company? You know, you would need to say that like you mean that, or I'm never going to leave. <laughs> oh, that's smoking. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I love having you and Matthew here, and when you're gone, I'm going to miss you, and I mean that. Oh, yeah. I will too, and I don't even want to think about it. Oh. <laughs> Neither do I. I like this house filled with family. And that young Matthew. He is such a joy to have around. Mm. Unless he's in one of his moods, and then all he does is argue with me constantly. Of course he argues. The boy is as smart as a whip. He knows exactly what he wants, and he knows how to get it. <laughs> and stubborn, too. He gets that from his father, I suspect. <laughs> Yeah, and I suspect that you're right, too. And he gets it from his father, like we all do. <laughs> Hello? What? Where is she now? All right, I'll be right there. Oh, Lordy. The doorman at the palace thinks that a high-class hooker walked into the bar, and now she's not there, so she must be up in one of the rooms. Why the hell did he call you? What, what's the big deal? Asa, the Palace Hotel is a respectable hotel, and I have a reputation to uphold there, all right? I'm going. See you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, Natalie, darling, I'm on the rush on the way out. Uh, I hope you're here when I get back. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Uh, did you hear the good news about Jamie? The doctors told us she's fine. She's out of danger. Oh, that's, that's great. That's great news. Uh, now, how about you? Me? I'm, I'm great. I'm very happy for Jamie. Although I'm still pissed at you for hurting Mom. But that's not why I'm here. I need to speak with Grandpa. Alone, if you don't mind. Well, what do you want to talk to me about? Well, I've decided to quit my job at the police station. Mm -hmm. And I want to come work for you at BE. Really? <laughs> the second best good news I've heard today. <laughs> Let's make you the Buchanan you were meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> what were you just doing in there? I'm sorry, why is that any of your business? Because this is my hotel, and sweetheart, I know a working woman when I see one. Well, sweetheart, I'm a friend of Miles, and I was just leaving, so if you'll excuse me. Excuse me? I know you. You're, um, Jordan, am I right? How do you know my name? All right, you have a great reputation. You're careful. You're discreet. So this time, we're going to pretend that you were just visiting a friend, all right? I appreciate that. Good. Don't make a habit of it. Oh, and one more thing. That Miles, he's a sweet guy. I almost feel guilty taking his money. 